Good afternoon, it's Jeremy. It's Sunday, April the 6th. Today I'm looking at the ICM20948, which is a 9DOF um, IMU, <clears throat> and this is a protoboard uh, with that particular chip on it, and it has a voltage regulator as well. This protoboard I got from Adafruit, and I've got it working with the Arduino Uno. I've got all the details in the blog post about the connections. There are four wires here. There's a VN. It has a voltage regulator on the board because the chip, I think, takes 1.8 volts, but you can use 5 volts or 3.3 volts. Anyways, it's got the voltage regulator. So the first wire goes to VN, and then there's a ground here, which goes to the ground terminal, and then there's SCL and SDA for your I2C interface. So there's SCL and SDA on the uh, right-hand side of the uh, Arduino Uno, and there's the 5 volt on the ground there. Now, originally I was looking at IMUs with the GY91 board, <coughs> which I use with Open Plotter, and there's the MPU9250 uh, IMU, and it's got a BMP280, which uh, temperature and pressure sensor. And I looked up, um, <coughs> I looked up on the um, internet to see if um, uh, what the status of this board was, and it turns out that the uh, MPU9250 is no longer being manufactured. Here's uh, here's an MPU 9250 board only without the uh, BMP 280 sensor on it, and uh, InventSense is not making these chips anymore. So I thought I would look at the uh, ICM 20948, which is the replacement for the MPU 9250. Now right now um, I'm using uh, there's there's two great libraries you can get for the um, ICM 20948. Adafruit has a library and SparkFun uh, has a library. So I'm using the example one from the SparkFun library here, and I'm looking at the um, accelerometer. Um, when you use the example one, the, the raw example, it prints out uh, all uh, 10 variables here. It's got three, uh, three XYZ for accelerometer, three XYZ for gyro, three XYZ for magnetometer, and the temperature as well. What I've done is I've just deleted or commented it out the lines for the various ones. So I'm just looking at accelerometer here and um, that makes it easier to look at. It also makes it easier to use the, uh, uh, there's the plotter as well. So you can see here um, that you've got some bias here. The I, I've got the sensor sitting on a, a dictionary here, a Brazilian dictionary, so it's not moving anywhere. So really uh, there should be no acceleration in X or Y. And on Z, which uh, is pointing down, uh, that's gravity. So it should give us um, about 9.8 meters per second squared. The units in the um, SparkFun library are milli mg, standing for milli, uh, milli of a gravity. So one one thousandth of gravity, which is 9.81 um, meters per second squared. So here we've got about, let's say, 1020 millis, which is effectively one gravity. So there's your gravity on the z-axis. If I move the sensor like this, okay, you can see that what happens is that the gravity gets transferred over to the y-axis. Okay, so it's now at minus 1,000 um, milli-g's. So that's the accelerometer. Um, if I take off the z-axis here, it makes it easier to see. I'll just click this off now. So if I move in this direction, it'll be positive x, and you'll see that the x takes a hit there, goes up. And if I move it, uh, if I move the uh, sensor in the y direction, you'll see that the y took a hit there. So like I said, the, acceler the accelerometer measures acceleration in x, y, and z. Uh, to get the velocity and the distance traveled, you have to uh, integrate those values and use uh, some form of software or filtering to remove the biases. Like I said, there's, you can see here there's uh, a non-zero value here, which is a bias. So I'm going to switch over to the uh, gyro and see how that works. Okay, so now I've got the uh, gyro set up. And what I'm looking at here is the same example one. And... Um, I've, I've commented out the accelerometer and the magnetometer. I'm just looking at the gyro. So I just see the X, Y, and Z for the gyro there. And I've also got the serial uh, plotter going as well. So let's take X. X, uh, X is this direction here. And let's rotate it 
in a positive direction. So you see the positive X pulse there. Let's do that again. If I go the other direction, you'll see the negative X pulse. Same thing with a Y. If I go positive Y, there's my positive Y pulse. If I go negative, I can see my negative Y pulse. And then um, there's my negative Z and my positive Z. So you can see the um, see the uh, outputs of the uh, various axes. Like I said with the example, if you've got all 10 outputs at the same time, it's very uh, it's a little bit confusing to see it on the serial plotter. That's why I just do three at a time. One, uh, one sketch for the accelerometer, one for the gyro, and one for the magnetometer.